Okay. Where's my thing? There we go. Let's tweet it. Boom. Ah. Focus. <laughs> Here we go. Stream updates. We are going back to. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I already attuned to it. <laughs> with anima is that a thing that i forgot from the main story in arr that i can just like bounce from one a the right to the next that, that other people apparently can't do that is that why everybody's always walking everywhere okay I'm gonna need another drink soon. You have infinite channel points? Oh, cool. Manage rewards? Oh, that just opens that panel again. Review requests queue. Is there a way to like put this panel in my hmm? How am I gonna know? How do I tell the pre-roll to fuck off? <laughs> okay. Anyways. If all are in agreement, I will outline my plan to retake Doma Castle. First, Lise and the Doman Irregulars will conduct a series of raids against Imperial targets throughout the surrounding area, with the aim of drawing the garrison's attention. Shortly thereafter, our Zayla allies will launch a surprise attack on the castle's airborne defenses. Oh. In this way, we will prevent the enemy's airships from rendering support and cut off one means of escape. Alize and I, together with the Shinobi, will exploit the ensuing chaos to infiltrate the Moon Gates and disable the Magitech field generators. Once the barrier is down, we will be free to cross the One River and reach Doma Castle. It is at this point that we must turn to our Confederate and Kojin allies. We've done some work. They will commence to bombard the castle with cannon fire while sailing west towards the Doman Enclave. Wait, the Enclave? Why would you want them to sail away from the castle? Because the Enclave is home to countless civilians. That makes sense. Once pressed, 
The Imperials may well think to take them hostage, and I would fain forestall any such attempt. After we have secured the Enclave, we may lay siege to Doma Castle directly. The main strength of the Doman Liberation Front, under Lord Hien's command, shall be committed to this endeavor, as will you and your redoubtable allies. <laughs> yes, you mean my random people I find in, in Duty Finder? Simple. Sure. We scour the castle for the Viceroy, we find her, and we subdue her. Without their leader, what remains of the Imperial's morale will crumble, and they will surrender or attempt to flee. And Doma will be free. Yeah, I'm waiting for the... Your thoughts, Lord? Hi, Damar! How's it going? If any points were unclear or gave you cause for concern, I should be glad to go over them with you. Nay, tis a fine plan. You have a talent for this. That much is plain. Hi, Damar. <laughs> We shall carry out Alphano's plan to the letter. I think we're Time sieging a castle essence, today. As you know, so let us each see to our respective preparations. I'm doing good. Carry on. I haven't eaten yet, so I have this whole plate of food in front of me that I'm probably going to be munching on throughout. I have more of my little dip. I have cheese that my dog is begging me for. Um, she's behind me. Oh, right there. She's on her little landing pad. Um... Yeah, and if I touch this, she'll come running. Uh, <laughs> I have little cocktail sausages. That are delicious. It's like glorified mini hot dogs, but they're so good for some reason. Nice. You need to play this game. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm pretty much picking off exactly where I left off last time. Where we all came back with Lord Hien, and then now we are just, uh, we're gonna do the thing. I gotta go pick up Alphino's mail. Okay. I'll help you do all your starter quests. It gets pretty ridiculous when you're partying with a high level person and you and they can just sort of like stomp everything. It makes me feel powerful. Yeah, speaking of nobody else is online right now. new look? Hang on, that's Tataru?
<laughs> Wait. Hang on. The mark? What? What, what is this about you getting fired, and why do you want to be? And do you have something else lined up, or like, are you gonna be okay? Nora. Nora, what's going on? Come here, you. Right? So now I have to go and do mail delivery because it's never just one thing if, with this game. This dip smells really good and I want chips now. Demark, I hope you're okay. That really sucks. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a great um, place to be. Like, it really sucks to accept a fake, um, $20 bill, um, but also, like, it shouldn't really be your fault, especially if it's been really busy. The person at fault is the customer who handed it to you, I would think. Oh, okay. So it's not this person. Stop trying to hand him the love letters. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I love Tataru. Sometimes she's her name is pronounced uh, Tataru, which I think is in a reference to Final Fantasy XI when the Lalafell were called Tataru, uh, Taru Taru. So she's Tataru Taru. There we go. Yeah. Is she still here? No, okay. 
I was wondering if she was still lecturing the guy. So, Alphino really likes girls. <laughs> and this has been teased at him a couple of times since Heaven's Word. So, yeah. Apparently, uh, he learned to draw really, really well in order to flirt with girls and impress girls back when he was a Charlian scholar. And I think that's just fucking adorable. And, like... There was another time where, like, someone was flirting with him, or Alize was making fun of him, and it was just so good. Um, so, Hancock teasing and saying, I think it would be really funny if we sent Alfino a crate of love letters. <laughs> the boy would blush. Okay. So now I need to go back to Yansha. Are you getting channel points, by the way? It should be giving you channel points. Well, that was another command I didn't set up. Okay. Never one to take undue risks. Oh. Hold on. My keyboard shop is acting up again. Uh, never one to take undue risks. It would seem Sid thought it best to send Alphino a massive manual detailing the operation of a Magitech field generator to ensure that the boy was prepared for every eventuality, or possibly to see if he would read the entire thing, or simply give up and whack the generator with a wrench, which works nine times out of ten anyway. You're getting channel points. Good. Okay. How <laughs> Tataru got her groove back? That was the name of the quest? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Seeds of despair. Uh, that doesn't sound good.
Oh, right, we can just leave this place. There's stuff here that can kill me. Hang on. <laughs> okay, I'm good now. water all different colored. It's like really orange up here, then yellow, then green. What am I doing over here again? Search for Imperial patrols. All I see are catfish. Do I have to go up more? Oh, there's Alize. up a tiger. Okay, cool. She's a red mage, which was a class that was added, I think, with this, the expansion I'm currently in the middle of, Stormblood. Yeah, she's cool. I think I have to go up and around. Yeah. looks like an Imperial Patrol.
Now where'd the other guy go? They really thought they did something there. Oh, she got the last one. Very nice. with your eyes, buddy. Uh-oh. Oh, what a bad fucking time for me to have a goddamn flashback. There's him in Imperial gear. I think. And a lot younger. Definitely Imperial. Are we going to learn her sob story? Because I still don't like her and I do want to kill her. Okay. So now I'm gonna get punched in the face, right? Oh, she killed him. No, that was the echo. I have these flashbacks sometimes that tell me story. We have to pet the dog. Yes. There's a way back up this way. It looks like it's sloped enough that I could probably get up the hill here. Maybe? Yeah, okay. What is that thing? 
that's a um, probably a hunt target. I don't want to deal with you. Of you either right. <laughs> I better not be pit pitying Yatsuyu. I literally watched her tell a man to shoot another man and then shoot that man when he refused to kill his own parents. So, I don't like her. That's cute.
These chips are really good, sorry. I'm just sitting here eating chips this whole time. Suranuki. Okay. Sakari in the south. Okay. I like these little land bridges they have. the warm reception. Can you, like... Can you relax? Can you not be insulting? I'm not feeling comfy about having these villagers fight for us either, but they seem determined and I don't want to tell them no. Get to blow stuff up. I like this plan. That's taking a while. But did, was it that long the last two times? That was weird. today. I apologize. <laughs> Let's 
Alright. Nope. Nope. Actually, Ian's alive. Now that's more like it. All right. Back to the House of the Fears. I'm gonna be lazy. This isn't a door I can go through. How do you expect me to get there? God damn it. That's also not a door I can go through. Uh, alright. Just this one, eh?
I'm not fighting you. I don't know where you got that idea. Nope. There we go. Okay, is there a way I can go here? Because this is all kind of... Okay, this one works, I think. We're probably going to trash his castle before we retake it, it sounds like. And I don't have any Aethercurts in this area? I don't. Okay. It's all quests that I don't want to do. Interesting. See, this is why this dude needs an escort. He's just gonna randomly walk off into the middle of this place when there's goddamn Magatsu Kiyofusa here. Which I think is probably just like Magitek something or other. I don't know what, what it translates to. My Japanese is not that good. Listen, I need to hit you with my club, like, twice, and you're dead. Oh, really? There we go. Three times. kill you, and I'm gonna kill your friend. That's what you get. sit here interrupting your actions constantly. This does not do a lot of damage. Okay. Now I can talk to you. He's looking for weapons. Puppy? My little puppy is trying to fight too.
She's sulking because I'm streaming. Oh, wait. What? What are you? Nope. My little puppy is fierce. A single katana. Um... I was concerned there for a moment that something was coming to us. We we're gonna have to fight it. Interesting. Her buddy. May I present the Blue Cogent's emissary? <laughs> Greetings and well met, old friends. The Elder sends his regards. Soroban, it's good to have you with us. I totally said they were going to high five. That would be so cool. If, uh, you might humor me. Thank you for coming, Sorba. Doubtless you have already been informed of our plans and the role we would have your people play. However, I seek your counsel as a Corjin of the Blue. Hmm. Be it by spell or siegecraft. Could your forces destroy the underwater foundations of Doma Castle's outer wall?
Hmm. Explosives coupled with a few incantations. Yes, that might produce sufficient force. Such a thing could indeed be done. Hmm. Get around the, and under. Then I wish to revise the plan. Instead of assisting the Confederacy in securing the Enclave, I would have the Kojin advance upstream beneath the water and breach a segment of the outer wall. I mean to flood Dorma Castle. Hmm. My lord, the castle is a sacred symbol, the very heart of our nation. To destroy it is unthinkable, unconscionable. You cannot do this. It's a, it's a building. It's a castle. It's a symbol. You can get a new symbol. I can and I will if it improves our chances. By flooding the castle, we remove the better part of their forces from the field and force Yotsu to retreat to the highest levels of the keep. Tell me that is not a worthwhile trade. <laughs> I like this guy. Let's do it. But my lord, that castle was entrusted to you by your father and his father before him. I say to you again, it is the heart of our nation. Castles can be rebuilt. Stone walls do not a nation make, my friend. Her people do. And as long as we yet live, there we, go. we can rebuild. There we go, called it. So Buckle, let us only chips. think of this battle, of victory here and now. For without that, we have no future. I see that you are resolved, Lord Hian, and I would not presume to gainsay your decision. I will inform the Elder of your revised stratagem and instruct our sappers to make ready. Our preparations are all but complete. Once we receive word from our Kojin allies, we shall set our plans in motion. We shall fight, and we shall prevail. I really like this guy's attitude. I've already been going for an hour. It doesn't feel like an hour. I never get a break. Rest for the righteous. What is rest? I'm the warrior of light. Ugh. So I have to say the other one? There we go. just, um, well, they threw me out, actually. <laughs> Told me I needed to get some sleep. Ready for the big day. 
Not long now, eh? I'm nervous, of course, but I also feel like... Like I didn't know where I was going, but maybe, finally, something's gonna change, you know? Really, really change. And when the dust has settled, we'll see what we've won and what we've lost. I'm going to give it my all tomorrow. Everything I've seen and felt, I won't let it be for nothing. Right, off to bed. Don't want to overdo it, and neither should you. Oh, but before you sleep, you should look in on Elfino and Alize. Quietly, of course. Why, are they cute? Are they cute when they're sleeping? What's going on? <laughs> what? Oh, look at those teenagers. <laughs> huh, another restless soul. Oops. Come, come. Raise a glass to freedom. <laughs> mm, good. Good. I should be interested to know his thoughts on the matter. Ah, uh, that's enough, Gosetsu. You'll not convince anyone with your drunken ramblings. We've talked about this, all of us. We are flooding the castle tomorrow, and that's the end of it. Oh, Gosetsu. I know, I know. I accepted your decision, and I do not intend to go back on my word. Nevertheless, as the battle draws near, I cannot help but recall our many travails, and it fair compels me to speak. He's drinking from the bottle? You're not supposed to do that. That's rude. In all my time serving as a leader of men, there are two failures which haunt me to this day. The first... Our defeat at the hands of the Empire 25 years past, and the subsequent imprisonment of your father. Long did I consider offering up my life in atonement, until Lord Kyan allowed at last to receive visitors called for me, of all people, for my unborn child, he said. For my dearest Shun, live. My second failure, of course, was the betrayal of that self-same command. Yeah, they are vibing. When in the rebellion I failed to protect not only Lord Kayan, but Lord Hien too. That I yet live. Having known such disgrace is an affront to the Kami themselves. Hey now. That's enough of that. Oh, look at my face. I'm gonna give him what for. Yet you, all of you, saw fit to grant this shameful creature, this failure, another chance to serve a greater purpose. Is he gonna cry? Thank you for pitying an old fool. Oh, Gosetsu. Now, now, it is far too soon for that. Save your tears for the morrow. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or despair. <laughs> Ah, even that sounds morose. We who yet walk the path should not think too much on the destination. When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open arms. He is right about one thing, though. We have you and yours to thank for this chance. 
all debts will be repaid. On that you have my word. But first we must live past tomorrow, no? If you've no intention of sleeping, you giddy, you may as well join us. <laughs> Forgive me, my lord. I did not mean to... Uh, if that is your will. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna take a quick okay, because I need another drink. I finished my milk. Yeah, there's nothing left. So, I am gonna go get myself a soda, and I'll be right back. There we go. Perfect. The sappers stand the ready at the ready and await our signal. Right. Here we go. I really hope this goes off without a hitch. I mean, there's probably going to be a hitch along the way, but like, could we just have a win? Could we just have like an unequivocal win? My doggo went downstairs to grumble. Yeah, we can only hope, right? Can you hear her? Because it looks like she is... Um... It looks like the, uh, the, the bar for the mic is bouncing when, uh, like, bouncing up when she barks.
what is this area of the map here? There we go. Monzen. It's still Monzen, it's just another part of it, I guess. The die is cast. Yeah. Go to a less monster populated area, perhaps, perchance? I don't know what this is. Oh! I just saw the inside of its mouth and it's not pretty. Alright, puppy? Where's their armor? But they were supposed Understood. to have armor. Wish us luck. Right. You all know what you have to do. Are you ready? Oh yes. Ready to show them what a good job they made of breaking us. Then what are you waiting for? Move out. I don't really like that the farmers are fighting. If I had my way, they wouldn't be fighting. Just, you guys can chill. We got enough support. <sighs> Why must we waste our time guarding this blasted... Hmm? Oh, they're gonna overthrow this castrum. Well, that's easy to do, so that's okay. Where is their armor, though? They were supposed to have armor. Sound the alarm! Fluminus is under attack! Armed insurgents have breached the perimeter! We need reinforcements! Nice. Get him, Lise. This is Lise. Imperial forces converging on our position. Looks like we've got their attention. We'll be sure to keep them busy for as long as we can. Nice. All right. There's the Zayla. Nice. Oh, Sadu. Nice. These two should hook up. Just saying. <laughs> that prick and that bitch, they should hook up. <laughs> ah, Magni. To That's wield his name. power to make men kneel before you. There is no better feeling. A pity I must share this pleasure with a feral dog of a Dothal. Preening, Orinir. You fear that she will put the sun in shade. <laughs> Those are for you. Go, claim your prey. They should hook up.
very cool. That is very cool. Sorry, I just got shivers. It's not often that the choreo is actually, like, good. <laughs> I just love her. She's fierce. Come to me. Come to your death. With each that falls, my soul soars higher. See? They're gonna hook up? I'm telling you. Swiftly, brothers. Fall <laughs> not behind. Make an offering of their steel to Father Azim. Hello, Nora. This is my puppy. Just off the camera. <laughs> they seem to be enjoying themselves. It's flirting. What it is right now, what's happening up in the sky, is flirting. This is prelude. My lord, the barrier! Oh, yes. And I guess Alphino and Alize figured so that out. Soon. Truly, our allies seem determined to surpass each other. Nice. Hi. Do you want a cheese? I'm kind of in the middle of liberating Delma. The Magitech field is down. I repeat, the Magitech field is down. Confederate vessels, you are clear to advance upon the Enclave. Ooh. Damn. Everything's happening very quickly. Is that our sappers? Hell yeah! The wall is breached. The Kojin two will not be outdone. <laughs> our allies have set the stage. Now we must take the castle. All right. With me. Why did it zoom in on his face for that? This bitch. My lady, the riverside wall has been breached. The lower levels are already flooded and the water is still rising. So I gathered. He would tear the whole thing down. All for the promise of a noble sacrifice, or the last of the flamings ever fall. Speaking of which, how fares my brute? The, the procedure was carried out as instructed by Lord Aulus. By all indications, it was a success. Did they make him a mechanical man? I'm not. I'm not about that. I've beaten his ass three times, and That's I guess a... he. Then he may yet be of some use. God damn it. Devotees of vengeance should rightly pursue their cause unto the bitter end, don't you think? Their hearts aflame with passion until the last few embers fizzle and fade, leaving naught but ash. The Viceroy's orders were clear. If Donna falls, none shall be spared. Tell the men to fight as if their lives depend on it. Because they do. <laughs> as you command, my lady. We saw a flashback of her being an abused child. Again they come to make you kneel. To make you grovel and suffer. But you have endured the worst and survived. You know their tricks? They will not find a flower simply waiting to be plucked. Mm. 
But I still hate her guts. <clears throat> All right, so this is going to be a duty to the western dock. I'm assuming this one? Oh, are we down here? Oh, muffin! Honey. Darling. My puppy is grumbling me because she wants more cheese. Oh. That one's gone. That one is done. Okay. One second. Ah. Oh. Where are you? Come for you. You want to be part of the show so bad? High fives. Yes, good girl. High fives? Yes. Low fives? Yes, good girl. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going to have a cheese together and then we're going to get back to. Hey, where are you going? You want this? You want this? Come here. <laughs> Sit down. Good girl. <laughs> we're gonna have a little cheese break. And then we're gonna liberate Doma. Hi. Hello. Hun. Darling. Do you want a cheese? Do you want to have a cheese with me? Do you want to have a cheese? You want a cheese? Does that smell good? There you go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. High fives. You can do it. High fives. High fives? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Cheese break. Cheese break. There you go. All gone. There's no more. There's no more. See? There's no more. This is just a wrapper. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's all gone. There's no more cheese. We ate all the cheese. There's no more cheese left in the world. There's no more cheese. There's no more cheese. There's no more cheese. There's no more cheese to beg for. Here, look. Do you want to finish eating your food so I can give you a treat? Look. Look, look, look. That's your treat if you eat all your food. You want that? No, you can't have that. You gotta eat your food. You gotta eat your food. I know, Beggy Dog. You got so spoiled on Christmas. You're like, this is my life now. Nora, look at me. Look at me. I know you want this. I know you want this bad, okay? But I want you to eat your food first. Eat your food, then you get a treat, okay? <laughs> right? Isn't she cute? And of course she's got like this, um, this stuffed bone that she's gonna go over there and chew instead of eating her food. 
<sighs> Anywho. Okay. Back to liberating Doma. Okay. My headphone cable is kind of bugging me today. I just need it out of the way. There we go. You and your adventure comrades, the other Gosetsu, Yugiri, and myself. Okay. Okay. Doma Castle now accessible. Boom. Instant cues is the best part of being a white mage. Okay, but the tank? Oh, okay. I was gonna go for a swim. bonuses. I have so many poetics. Where do I even see those again? Juicy Cakes is the name of my tank. And it's the Viera because of course it is. Whoa! You're taking health damage a little too quick for my comfort. Okay, here we go. going on. It's a little overwhelming. All the background shouting. Hi, Muffin. I don't have any more cheese. I'm sorry. Oh, juice cakes is in a bite. Okay, good. She does have aggro on them. Sometimes the tank will just body pull. And that doesn't actually, uh, get proper aggro. Ah, hey! Don't be like this. Oh! I need to hit you with big heal. There we go. What are you getting hurt by? That hurt a lot. Boss. 
Nope. I don't want to be there. targeting me for a reason? Oh my god, I'm right in the middle of it all! Okay. Gotta watch the ground, gotta watch your feet! I'm right in the middle! <laughs> <laughs> More mines. Okay, we're okay. We're good. <laughs> I don't yeah, I I didn't they didn't tell me the tactics, like they didn't volunteer it. And I didn't ask, so I just sort of winged it, and I guess it worked out well. Oh. I'm not going fast enough. One second. Let's go, Juicy Cakes. Oh, no. I don't want it there. Careful. No. No shit, 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 shit. just purely me not having my hands in the right place on the keyboard, hitting the wrong buttons, not having the right person selected when I hit my friggin' big heel, uh, my free cure two basically, and just, it just was a gong show. Okay, we'll try that again. We'll do it better this time. This is the cool thing about Final Fantasy XIV, is that nobody fucking gets aggro if you fuck up. You know, like, everybody's totally fine. They're just like, it's all good, you know, no worries, it's fine. 
Oh, uh, there's a treasure coffer here nobody touched. I'm gonna touch it. Because why not? Um... Juicy Cakes, why are you fighting? You're not even there! This time I'll heal you. There we go. That's what I should have done. Cause that's an instant and an AOE. Yeah, I'll just heal myself. That's useful. But yeah, everybody's just cool. If you fuck up, you're just like, yeah, it's all good. See, this is what got me last time. She's over there. I'm over here. I'm just trying to get into the fight here. Stop putting AoEs on me. to work. Jesus is taking a lot of damage. Okay. Standing here DPSing. I guess when it's a single target, it's easier. That looks like a thing we might need to get behind. Never mind. icon to mark when you play this game. It doesn't really happen until later levels when you're doing like dungeons and raids and stuff. But uh, basically it means when it's like an arrow pointing down on one person and then they've also got arrows pointing in on all on four corners, that means stack on them. Otherwise, uh, either that person will absolutely assuredly die or everybody else will. So you gotta you gotta pay attention to that icon, and it makes that sound in your ear too to kind of as like an audio indicator as well, um, so that you stack in time. Um, because whenever when you're stacked up like that, it evenly splits the damage between everybody in the pile. I don't think the summoner knows that. Why are you all hitting me? Excuse me? Who is still after my ass? Excuse me, it's my ass. thingies that killed everyone in the start starting cinematic this expansion. Hey! 
Hey! That's painful. What? Can you leave me alone, though? I shit talk a lot while I'm fighting, I'm sorry. It's not directed at anybody, it's directed at this- at this goddamn spider robot thing. <laughs> Just die already! If I have to do it myself, I will! Hey, uh, Juicy Cakes, why aren't you healing? Oh, shit! No! There. Okay, here we go. Please don't start the fight until- Really? Can we finally kill this guy once and for all, please? So something- like, he's got some fucking tech parts or something, now. RIP AND TEAR! Really? <laughs> I thought they were gonna join us in the fight! They just came up and they're just like, oh, hey, you got this? Okay, cool, bye. <laughs> Come on. We go together! Oh. About to get away from everybody? There we go. Whatever that one was supposed to be, I did it right. Okay. Hypertune Grinwald? Die, die, die! No. on top of people with this. There we go. We go together. No, no, no. Oh. I just want some loot, that's why it gave me a little victory sound. Is this guy dead yet? Here, let me finish him. Die, die, die! I don't care, you're dead. There we go. Yeah, my, my character doesn't even know how to respond to that. So normally he does like a little yes, you know, because like he, we just won the fight. Um, action learned Dia. Action learned Glare. Action learned Arrow Mastery 2. Stone Mastery 4. But I already had that one. Hang on, what did I... So I leveled, right? What just happened? I don't think I had Dia before, did I? Is it traits? Update stone to glare. 
Okay. Well, let me get out of Doma Castle. Yeah. <laughs> I might have actually got the killing blow on that guy. <laughs> there she is. Have you aught to say for yourself? For what you have done to our people? Your people? My people, he says. The precious lordling beloved by all come to confront the wicked witch. My parents thought me no better. They woke me from dawn to dusk like an ox or an ass or some other piece of burden. Until, that is, my brother spied a chance to transform the family fortunes. And so I was married to a vicious old drunk, who beat me as he pleased. And when I pleaded for help, I was told to grin and bear it. For the family, for him, for everyone's sake. They pretended not to notice, but they knew. They knew! I mean, that really sucks. What did it matter? I was nothing to them. Less than nothing. I wasn't of their flesh. I wasn't a fellow Doman. I wasn't even a person. I might just as well have been dead. And then my husband passed away one day. And so I was sold off yet again to pay his debts. But this time, this time, I found a way to live for myself. To survive as a spy for the Empire. Oh, those were the days when the scales first fell from my eyes. No longer would I be a slave to my parents or my husband or the pleasure house. I would be free and receive due compensation. It's still not a reason to kill innocent people. That would be enough, I thought. Until I saw a doorman in the road. Beaten and broken. And my heart... My heart... Skipped a beat. Lying at my feet. Groaning in agony, sobbing in despair, powerless, helpless, hopeless, a vision forever seared into my soul. Oh! There was nothing I would not do to feel that joy again, to bend this cruel, twisted world to my whims. Hmm. Now, having borne witness to my life's work, have you what to say to me? Hmm. <laughs> Twas kind of you to lend me your ear, my lord. But now it is time for us to conclude our little tete-a-tete. With a final game of chance. Who shall stand and who shall fall? Let the die be cast. All right, what's gonna happen here? This was her plan from the first to bring the keep down on our heads. She dead then? I will remember your words. Fortunately, unlike most big bad guys in this flee. game, she didn't Order have like a transformation or wound up to be like all powerful or, or something. She was just a woman. She was just a lady who was a total bitch and um, was put into a position of power specifically to abuse it. So.
Alright, let's go. Why are we standing here looking at the ceiling? Did Gosetsu save my ass? Is he holding the fucking ceiling up? He is! This is not happening right now. Go, my lord! While you still can! I cannot hold it forever! He better not die, I swear to fuck. No! We will not leave you behind! Do your duty! Deliver Lord Hien and the others to safety! Now! Forthwith! I shall manage on my own! She's not dead, of course not. Who did she shoot? Y'all need to get out of here. Why are we standing around still? No. No one leaves. Not you or anyone else. All right. Why are we still standing around? Can you people please be motivated? Tis not this old frame cannot bear. Are, why are we still standing around? Go now, all of you. The day is won and the morrow beckons. Can we not ha can we not stand around while he does this noble sacrifice bullshit? Can we not stand around? Like, come on. Can we not stand around? Can we fucking go? Do not despair, my friend. Never before have I felt so alive. My eyes unclouded my purpose clear. This is right. Gosetsu. Kip, why are we still standing around? What? You never failed us. Oh not my once. God. You served my father faithfully. I know I it has to do with drama, but seriously, come on. He's holding up the fucking ceiling. He's been shot twice. He is not gonna hold this thing forever. We're all standing around here, eulogizing this man who is still alive for the moment while he's trying to give us a way to escape and we're not taking it. I'm stressed. We build together shall be better for it too. <sighs> I am stressed the fuck out. Can we go? Be proud, my friend. Be proud. Stop eulogizing him! I am, Shun. More than you know. Can we go? Can we go? Can we fucking go? Can we fucking go? Can we go? Hien! Can we go? Are we going? Let's go. You giddy! Come on! Thank you. Jesus Christ, that took so long. <laughs> you cast the die. Right, Demar? Was never my vice. now before it is too late
down. I'm sorry, sir. I like how the birds looked at it as it fell in the water. We can I still- I saw it, sir enough. That was his wish. He took a long fucking time wishing it. I will deliver you to safety. The others are waiting. That was stressful. We can still dig his body out of the rubble. Gosetsu has honestly survived worse. Oh, Sudana. It was kind of for nothing with how long he was standing there holding the goddamn ceiling up it was it felt like it was kind of for nothing so we got rid of yotsuyu we think gosetsu's dead i'm not convinced that he is Yeah, thank you, Alpha No. Thank you, someone who has a brain. See, there's no body. That means he's fine, right? He'll show up later, right? But the whole castle was rigged to explode because she wanted us to suffer one more time. Oh, Alice, I appreciate you trying. I don't believe that he's dead, though.
Hang on, before I go get that quest, I kind of just want to look at the castle. Because, like, the area has all changed now because we did that. Yeah. It's a good thing I took a before picture. <laughs> Because there's like a whole half of the castle that is missing now. Okay. Oh, go away. No body, no fruit. Exactly. Gosetsu freaking rode himself across the ocean on a tiny ass little rowboat to get to Eorzea to find help and to find Yugiri. And fucking collapsed at Yorianger's fet feet. Like, this guy is a fucking tank. He's built to survive. Nope. We need to put that. Yeah. So what's that? Yeah, I got... Um... Stone Mastery 4. I guess I got that. It said I got Dia. Here it is. Unaspect damage with a potency of 60? Oh! Oh, it changed arrow into Dia, and that's glare now. Okay, okay. Alright, hang on a second here. <laughs> Sorry, one second. Well, no, let's do this, and then I will find something to fight along the way. You all look like shite. Well, thanks. Uh... We brought everyone here. You were the last to arrive. I see. Thank you. We owe the Confederacy a great debt. I have waited 25 years for this moment. You owe us naught. Well, that's sweet. Thanks, bro. It's Lord Hien! Lord Hien! It's him! He lives! He lives! Some few words of encouragement would not go amiss, my lord. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, yes, <laughs> uh, of course. He's never actually, like, really led anybody before. <laughs> Well, if you want to say something, I will. <laughs> I don't know what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing you say that, I find my courage somehow renewed. Much obliged. what must be going through his head right now. We are a sorry lot, are we not? Tired, dirty, stinking of blood and sweat and ash. <laughs> the people push to the point of breaking.
And yet, we won. <laughs> the perseverance to endure decades of oppression. The will to carry on the legacy of those we have lost. These were the bonds that held us together and gave us the strength to reclaim our home. I don't know if the other voice Viceroy guy is around or is going to be a problem for Doma. That's kind of still up in the air. After 25 hard years, the shadow of the Empire no longer darkens these lands, and we may at last look forward to the dawning of a new day. But, my friends, it will be a day of work. Why are you shaking your head, bro? Oh! <laughs> I gotta give Nora a kiss. So I ask you, have you yet the strength to stand? Maybe. One second, Lord Hien. I've gotta go give my dog a kiss, because someone... Uh, Velky, thank you for the redeem on giving Nora, giving Nora a kiss. I love you. Hey, you. Oh, I, know. I know you're a sulky baby today, because I'm streaming. I know you're a sulky baby today. Here we go. And then we're going to switch webcam. Here's the pupper. Mwah! Oh, big sleepy baby. Big sleepy baby. Mwah. I love you. Say hi. You don't want to say hi? No? Okay. Okay. Best kisses for you. Yes. Alrighty. Let's go back to Final Fantasy. <laughs> I think I might have put a cooldown on that just so that people can't spam it. But I'll hold her for a little bit for free. It's all good. There's also a uh, shoulder dog for five minutes thing as well. To rise up with me once more, here and now, and begin to rebuild our homeland? Oh! Suddenly they're all standing! Okay. Here we go. This will not end with Doma. We will see to that. Right, Lise? Right. Indeed. This is but the beginning. The tide is turning, and it shall soon bear us back across the seas, and onward, and to the next battlefield. Okay, this is all gonna make me emotional.
All right. What is this area? The Dome and Enclave. down? Can I set you down, honey? Can I set you down, my baby girl? No? Look at this shoulder dog. She just wants to sleep on my shoulder. Okay. Down on the bed again. I know. It's not ideal. It's not ideal in Nora's world. I know. Come down there. This is for Nora. This is for Nora. Okay. Okay. She's tired. She's giving me this look like. Mom, stop bothering me. <laughs> I'm too tired to function. It's okay, put your head down. It's okay. It's okay. You can see. I won't bother you again until there's another reading. How's that? How's that? <laughs> She's very tired. <laughs> okay. Yeah, when I do early streams like this, we kind of skip our nap. Usually we take a nap in the mornings. Um, from like 11 to sometime in the afternoon, usually. We need to go liberate um, Lisa's place now. Yes. Yes. It's all very optimistic right now. I'm telling you guys, Kosetsu's not dead. Yeah, all the gear sucks because I'm level 72. I've already done my white mage level 70 quest.
piratical endeavors, I suppose. What's up, Festus? We killed your Viceroy. So yours, Hancock? Just diss the man right to his face. Yes. All right, here we go. waiting for there to be, like, um, another fight with the big guy. Again. The, um, Imperial Viceroy guy with all the swords. That's probably gonna be a thing that I have to do back in Eorzea. you get that. You must have to jump off of something really high and land on it very precisely. Hey! Mike! Thank you! Thank you so much! Um, I've actually got your uh, snacks box taped up and in a a grocery bag to take over to the post office right after the stream. It is ready to go. I'm getting it out of my house. <laughs> of my knowledge, yes. Apologies for the wait. The task of tying up loose ends invariably takes longer than one allows. Happily, nice. however, all now seems to be in order. 
Then there's nothing left to do but to board the ship. Do try and enjoy the journey, won't you? It may be your last chance to rest for a while. That would depend on the good captain's choice of route. Mm. As ever, Tataru, I pray you take all due precautions while making your inquiries. Better to avoid the local authorities altogether than risk a repeat of our Ishgardian episode. Hmm. And what sordid episode is this, pray tell? <laughs> Not to speak of, I assure you. You there! Hold that ship! Is that Ian? Hmm. It totally is. What are you two doing here? Shouldn't you be in Doma? Shouldn't you? You left with nary a word. I half wondered if I had done something to offend. Hmm. Upon learning that you had departed for Kugane, we immediately resolved to give chase. Our comrades can manage affairs in our absence, and it seemed the least we could do. You mean you came all this way just to say goodbye? Hmm. Sorry, I'm eating chips. That too, I. But there was something else I felt I had to say. You helped us win our freedom, and for that I cannot thank you enough. Accordingly, after we have established an interim government and so forth, I think it only meet that we repay the favor by dispatching our own forces to Eorzea. That's what I'm talking about. We harbored no expectations of such generous aid. And as there is no telling when the Empire might strike back at you, would it not be wiser to concentrate your resources on the defense of Doma? I had a mind to pursue a more aggressive defense. To wit, we will send forth Shinobi to provinces far and wide to spread word of our victory, that we might inspire others to take up arms as we did. Even the Empire has its limits. If the Garleans cannot be certain where and when the next rebellion will take place, how can they commit another force to Doma? Nice. And besides, so long as this debt remains unpaid, how am I to face myself? And Gorsetsu. As you wish. I will relay your offer to the Eorzean Alliance. All of Doma is counting on you to finish what we have started. You have it in you, Lys. To seize the future you want, never forget. I won't, Hien. Not your words or anything else. Everything that led us here, that will drive us forward, I'll carry it with me always. And that's a promise. <laughs> I will hold you to that. Go with them to Eorzea. Tell their people of our triumph and of our pledge to stand with them. By your leave, I shall pave the way for our new alliance. Nice. Hurry up, you lot! The ship's about to weigh anchor! <laughs> it seems our time is at an end. Go well, my friends. And may we meet again beneath a western sky. Oh, he's gonna come visit. Nice. Mike, we saved everybody, and we won the day, and we think we lost Kosetsu. The game's trying to tell me that he's dead, but I don't think he's dead. There was no body. Just to catch you up on what's going on. Yeah, Tataru is is uh very tiny. All the Lala fell. Um 
are just like that. Like, they're full adults, but they look like tiny little babies. So they, they often seem to give them, like, the deepest voice actors they can to convince I you that this is an adult. That woman was unfit for command. Aye, when you think of all the resources we poured into that hole, and for what? Are you gonna kill a dude again? This is the asshole I was talking about, by the way, earlier. Yeah, he's gonna kill a dude again. Beast yet lives. Mayhap it is time I sharpen my claws. I wonder, will you walk into my parlor once more? He's got really long eyelashes too. This bitch. Padolorem Lupus, come at the command of the Lord Viceroy to present the prisoner taken by the Cranier Lupi. Oh, Kryle! Not Kryle. Xenos Ye Galvus, I presume. Xenos, that's his fucking name. It's true what they say. You do have the eyes of a monster. A ravenous, insatiable fiend. Kyle's not really a fighter, so I'm worried about her. You, give the butcher your weapon. My, yes, my lord. My lord, this is a reward given in recognition of your service. I trust it will prove more capable than its former owner. I swear, I'll not disappoint you, my lord. I don't remember what Kral was supposed to be doing. Now, silence that mewling little piglet. I would not hear another sound pass her lips. Until I strip the fat from her. And he's gonna kill her. to wonder she has an ability to sense aether and stuff and like she was also i think she was also an apprentice of Matoya, so i wonder if she has a way of getting out via the live stream like yustola did Also, we didn't see them kill her, so it's presumed that she's still alive. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Catch me if you can. What is that achievement? Um, how do I view achievements? There we go. Oh, just uh, complete the main scenario quest one. She's just like snarky 100% of the time. I love it. <laughs> I, I live for it. Oh! 
the Admiral's here. What complication is this? Yeah. So we gotta go link up with Thancred, figure out how we're gonna rescue Kryle. I think, like, they're literally in the middle of making her dead. So... And I'm in Limsa, so it's gonna take a minute because there's like a million people here dancing. While well, that's going on... Okay. See, watch how many people load in. It's actually not that bad, or it's just taking a minute. Not much of a crowd. Usually, yeah, it's actually not too bad. Um, usually, I'll hear like a lot of like a, a lot of chatter because um, it does like this sort of depending on the population of players in the area, it has like a background sound that kind of tells you how busy it is. Um, this is really not bad right now. This is actually pretty tame. Normally, it's like practically shouting in my ears how many people there are. Um, okay. So I have to go to Castrum Orions. Right here. I have my map hidden behind my webcam, just because I find this kind of like an interface eyesore. Oh, excuse me. I eat all my chips. Yes, so back back you go behind the webcam. Iron ball? Why do I recognize your name? Who are you again? <laughs> we gotta give Nora another kiss. One second. Thank her. Thank you, Farmer Liao, for the redeem. Let's go on webcam. Hey, honey. Hey, you. Hi. Are you a sulky baby today? Mm -hmm. She's a bit of a sulky baby. Nora Sulk. We didn't have our nap, so she's kind of... She's tired. So she's just kind of, like, curled up on the corner of the bed. Because that's where I said I put her down the last time someone redeemed Give Nora a kiss. Um, so, yeah. Charky special power. <laughs> All right. Oh, 
Okay. My clothes are all kind of pinching me right now. So where do you see Ishtola? I caught a glimpse of their leader's memories. A walker. Oh. So he has the echo too. We keep finding more people with the echo. Nago's okay. Patience isn't one of my virtues. Thank you for banning the bots to Mark. I saw that. I was wondering about that Six Flags one. outside anyway. I don't know why... Okay, there's like a slight difference between... What's up, Raubon?
pray, join me in welcoming our Scion allies, but recently returned oh. from their mission to the Far East. We have been most eager to hear a first-hand account of your time there, eventful as we understand it was. Very well. Allow me. <laughs> It'll be good. Oh, come on. Let me know what she's saying. Let me know what she's saying. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. Doma, free after all these years. Bloody hells. Flooding their own castle for a better chance at victory. <laughs> we could learn a thing or two from that, lad. Our agents report a flurry of communications between Garlemald and Alamigo in recent days. It is plain they are in the midst of deliberating their response to the Doman uprising. Good. Every Imperial unit in occupied territory will be on the lookout for civil unrest. The fear of leaving critical locations undefended will make commanders think twice about committing their forces, giving us a chance to seize the initiative. We have a chance, aye. Mayhap the last one we're ever gonna get. While we've done our best to rebuild the resistance, the Imperials have only increased their efforts to root out sympathizers. If we keep on playing for smaller prizes, it's only a matter of time before they crush us again. And that we won't come back from. Yeah. A swift advance seems best for all concerned. Not least poor Mistress Cryo. Then let us waste no more time. The campaign for Alamegan liberation begins now. Our first objective will be to capture Castellum Valadina. Take the bridge, and the whole of the fringes will be ours. From there, we can push east towards the peaks. I right. name this operation Rolga's Beacon. For as Rolga once sent his star to guide our ancestors to these lands, so too shall it see us home. Okay. Rolga is like the god of the Alamegan people, I think. And he was, I think he was a refugee from Alamigo before, like when the Imperials occupied it many years ago, just to give some context to the people in chat who I know don't play this game. Oops, I think I accidentally skipped some text here. Oh, maybe not. So we're going to do a feint to draw them out. So, I, I think I'm only understanding half of this plan, um, and I don't think that it's because they're describing it poorly, I think it's just because my brain is just kind of not paying attention to the details. I'm reading all of it, but it's not computing. Oh, and suddenly we're here, okay. It teleported us.
<laughs> nice. Was this always here? Seriously, was this area always here? Look at this. They got cannons! They got, like, actual cannons. And a velvet rope? <laughs> Right. So that's not going to be the way to do it. Maybe it is. Why is my chocobo slow here? What? Okay, hang on. supposed to oh, okay there we go you can't do it with a chocobo all right sure but then how am i supposed to get on that there we go there we go There's a way to, I don't know, zoom in and look through your character's eyes, but I don't remember it.
titles already. <laughs> You're not short of relevant combat experience, I'll give you that. Oh, really? Alrighty. Uh, where to now? Back to Caselum? Oh. Well, why do you have to put it in such a weird place? Should I just walk there? Hmm. I'll go here. skin. Oh, and they just gave me furniture. I really need to clean out my inventory again. Here, why don't I just... Yeah, I can't fly. Okay, so I think what the plan is, is we're going to do some kind of feint to try and lure... For Dola and the Skulls out to attack. And while they're doing that, we're also going to make it look like we took the bridge. Which I believe is right there, maybe? Um, yeah. Or there. I don't know which. And that's going to incite them to panic and mobilize or something. And then we could take advantage and get through and find Kryle. I'm a little lost in this plan, like I said. I, I don't know... I don't quite understand all the salient details. Look at that. They've already messed people up. Nice. Okay, this is gonna start a fight. Proceed. Something's happening! It's begun then. Good. It's the waiting that drives me mad. Standing around, knowing what's to come. I'll never get used to it. Calm down, Nargo. You're making her nervous. We've come this far, haven't we? We just need to make it the rest of the way. Right. Oh. Looks like the bastards went for the bait. The bridge is ours for the taking. Nice. Now remember, Monago, I want you to make for the tower as soon as you see an opening and get that flag flying. We'll see to the fighting. I won't let you down, sir. Come then. Rolga's star shall burn bright this day. All right, here we go. Here we go. There 
we go. If they see us, they'll warn the others. So what's the plan then? Not if we kill them first. So much hit points, never mind. There she is. There we go. Stick me with your gunblade all you want. I'm a white mage. There's only one way this battle ends. Tediously. Oh right, this thing. Damage indicators coming up and it's like zero. Just blocks from the end of the ground. Yes, it is earth flavored magic, exactly. And I'm casting stone four. to pay 
Jesus! You keep trying, lady, but I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, here she goes. No more hiding! Let's finish this! Look! The flag! Oh, shit! <laughs> the bridge is ours! Al amigo! Al amigo! Al amigo! Fucking smoke bomb? Seriously? Fucking smoke bomb? Let them go, Lise. We've done what we came here to do. That's enough for now. Okay. Oh, that doesn't look like it's going good for our guys. Who is this guy? That's an Ishgardian soldier. Soldier. Oh, there we go. Stand your ground, runs away. Yeah, pretty much. Let's fucking go! Piladina is fallen? Impossible! We have them on the run! Forward! No mercy! Regroup! Regroup! We have to regroup! All units! Fall back! What's going on? Okay. Yeah, because he's from here. He's a little sentimental about seeing that flag. Commander, the fourth cohort has been routed. We'll be at the mercy of the enemy's reinforcements if we don't fall back now. Idiot! We have the stronger force by far. Don't be taken in by their tricks. Or would you rather tell Zenos you lost to this rabble? No, but if the snakes betray us in the confusion, we'll have no way out. I'm begging you, Commander. Give the order, or we'll all die here. She's gonna kill him? common traitors who drank of muddied waters. For all the good it did us. School's with me! The day is theirs, and so is this bastard bridge. Someone bring the snake. Hmm. Is 
suppose. It's our first victory, isn't it? And that has to be worth something. Hey guys, this bridge is defective, I can't cross it. What is this? Why doesn't this door open? Do we have a plan for that part? You try turning the bridge off and on again. Okay. So now I have to go search for any Imperial forces that are kind of hanging out. Oh, I was stunned, that's why. There we go. 290 and potency 60. I'm curious, what's the difference between these and... 270. So, glare is better. And then Dia is 60 versus, what was I using before? Like, Arrow 2? Yeah, it was the same. Okay. Let's see if we can liberate El Amigo today as well. They're probably going to throw us a few curveballs that we have to deal with. Knowing how the story tends to go.
Alrighty. Back to the bridge. See if we can actually cross it now. So it sounds like, from what Fordola was saying, that there is a beast tribe on the other side of this. Um, the snake ladies. Yes, I love the wolf pup. But we have to go to the M tribe. Hold on, we gotta pause the liberation, make sure our friend is okay. I'm feeling tired. I didn't have a nap today either. I, uh, so for next month. I'm going to try and maintain um, schedule at least on Mondays and Wednesdays um, because Fridays are a no-go <laughs> at all for my current schedule and yeah I might try and do from noon to 4 instead of 11 to 3 on Mondays and just sort of keep it like a consistent noon to 4 for Mondays and Wednesdays. Oh, and I did get an interview. I forgot to tell everyone in the server. Here in Alalafell, that kind of sounds like Pancred and, uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yes, I should get some more naps in my life. So, this whole pandemic, it's been kind of weird for me because, um, so in 2019, I quit my job. It was like December 5th or something was my last day at my old job. And uh, it was, but I still went to like all the Christmas parties and it was kind of nice. Like I was an IT manager for a real estate firm. Um, and so I went to all the Christmas parties and it was just kind of like partying around um, for like the whole month of December, basically. And then um, January, I had like nothing going on at all. And I was kind of like just sort of living off my line of credit because I was waiting. I had applied to other jobs in like October, November, December. Like I had been, I've been waiting to leave that job for a while. So I had been applying to jobs and keeping myself busy with that. And then January was just sort of like spent waiting. Um, and then I did actually get um, my current job, or it's more like a contract thing, where I do online IT support for. Uh, charity for Zoom, and uh, I've been doing that since. But it was kind of weird because there was like a weird 
sort of fugue period from December into January where it was just like there was nothing I had nothing to do nothing to leave the house for nothing to uh, convince me to keep a schedule um, so Nora and I really got into the habit of just sleeping in until like three o'clock in the afternoon um, and I think we've just kind of kept that habit the whole pandemic um, there have been days where obviously I've had to work really early yeah, liminal time for sure. Um, but there have been days where I've had to obviously wake up for early, but like most days I would wake up really early, probably like between six and eight in the morning, uh, to take my pills and send the dog outside. Then I would kind of fart around on my phone for like an hour or two. And then we'd go back to bed because Nora was still tired and I was still tired because I don't really sleep a solid eight hours anyway. Um, so it's been kind of weird um, lately trying to do a schedule, uh, that's during the day because I am honestly a little bit tired, but I do want to do this and I'm really excited that I got affiliate now to sort of push me forward, keep me going. And I recently got new RAM and recently got a new hard drive to replace a failing drive. Um, there's more things that I want to do, obviously. Um, I do need to get a new video card, but I don't know when that's going to happen. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm just sort of, now I'm just sort of, like, existing, um, with a schedule that's very spaced out and sparse. Um, we'll see if I get the other job. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, it is a permanent position, but then in the same conversation she said it was a contract position for one year. So... Um, and then it was also a very experimental position. Um, it, sa it also sounds like I'm going to be doing asset management in their offices from home. Which, I'm not sure 100% how that's going to work. Um, another thing too is that I don't have a driver's license and I don't drive. Because I get a lot of anxiety trying to. So that's just been something that's been kind of holding me back from a lot of things. Um, it's just that... I do not have the time or the patience or the mental wellness to attempt to do driver's ed and learn how to drive properly and then get my license again. Um, cause I had a learner's, but it expired. Um, I let it expire. It was like five years or something. Anywho. Um, so because I don't have a license, I can't drive up to Toronto, but I told her like, we can work this out, like either. They can mail me the laptops and systems to set up, and then I do that from my home and then mail it back, have it have UPS pick it up or whatever. Um, or someone who works at the office in Toronto could drive to London, because they do regularly all the time, um, could like deliver the stuff to me and then come pick it up when it's ready for new hires and such. Um, but it's all very experimental. The charity itself is not that old. Um, I think she said about 10 years, but yeah, it's, uh, like, it's all sounds like work I could definitely do, um, and it's a guaranteed, like, 25 hours a week with potential for overtime, so, with benefits, that's important, because I need those, so yeah, I, like, I kind of hope I get the job, I'm wondering if maybe they like me because I'm one of the few people to apply to a part-time IT job, <laughs> Like, that's not something that you see every day, and it's been something that I've been complaining about basically since I started my career, is that there's no such thing as a part-time AT job. Well, <laughs> we'll see. So I'm kind of excited about it, but I'm kind of having and hawing about it. Um, we'll see. Okay, so there's a tunnel. Be the part-time IT job you want to see in the world. Exactly. There we go. Yeah.
Thank you, Demar. I also don't quite know how it would affect streaming, but I I plan to work around it. I plan to make it work with uh, my other job as well. So if I have to become a weekend streamer, that's fine by me. Ooh. Ah, you've come. Welcome, friends, to my village. My home. How fare your people? Good, all things considered. Better than the Ananta at any rate. They've sent an emissary. I'll take you to her. Ooh. Would you guys be upset with me if I ch if I ended stream early? We're here to help. Will you tell us what happened? Aye. It began with a quarrel between the Imperials and the Kaliana. The Kaliana are another Ananta tribe. The strongest and the most influential. Unlike the Vera, they want no part of our troubles. They swore fealty to the Empire, and were content to remain within their borders. Just so. The Kaliana forsook their pride and the fight, and yielded to Garlemald long ago. But then a new commander was sent to hold the Black Bridge. She demanded the Kaliana surrender a hostage, this butcher. Poor Dola. It doesn't make sense, though. The Vera are the ones working with the Resistance. Why would she threaten the Kaliana? Because she is ignorant like all Imperials. She knows not the difference between Kaliana and Vera, nor does she care to learn. I see. All Fadola knew for sure was that the Resistance would come from the West. She reasoned, therefore, that if the Ananta on the East Bank turned their coats, she would be trapped. I take it the Kaliana had no choice but to oblige her. No, they did not. The Imperials left with the Kaliana Broodmother's own daughter, Anamika. Oh, jeez. Long days and nights, she looked out on the Black Bridge, weeping for her child. Until you came. The Broodmother knew at once which way the winds would blow. She and her warriors met with the fleeing Imperials in the road and demanded that her daughter be returned. So that was a snake they were talking Bad about. Bad idea. Vordola's not the kind to take threats lying down. You know her well. The Butcher turned her blade to Anamika and bade the Kaliana move aside. But the brood mother would not yield. I know where this is going. Yeah. The Kaliana surrounded the Imperials, one of whom, whether out of fear or stupidity, cut the child down. There was naught that could be done. What madness. Hi, puppy. The true madness was yet to come. For in her despair, the Kaliana broodmother cried out for her daughter to be restored to life. She beseeched Sri Lakshmi's intercession. Oh. So there's a primal? She summoned a primal then and there? That she did, if only for an instant. Bereft of courage and honor, the broodmother sought solace in her faith. The Imperials fled in terror at the sight of the goddess, abandoning these lands to the Ananta. Now the Kaliana bid us make pilgrimage to pay proper respects. 
Yet though we Vera revere Sri Lakshmi as the holiest of the holy, we will not prostrate ourselves before her. And so you turn to us? I. All who have fought with the Resistance have heard tell of the warrior, the Icon Slayer. Yeah, I kill gods. What of it? Yeah, <laughs> hi! Do you want me to say something? I believe we have heard enough. Inconvenient though the timing may be, if a primal has indeed been summoned, we can scarce afford to ignore it. We must needs discuss how best to resolve this situation. Hello, puppy. Okay, first things first. Yeah, I think we're gonna call it. I'm pretty tired. I'm trying- I'm doing my best here to not yawn. Constantly. Um, so thank you both. Thank you all for coming to the stream. Thank you, uh, to Mike. Thank you to Mark. Thank you Farmer Liao and Valky for the redeems on the- on the channel points. I just set those up, like, yesterday, so let me know what you think of those, and if there's anything else that I could do for, like, channel points, that would be cool, uh, if you have any suggestions. So, my next stream will be, uh, Wednesday, and it'll be 1 to 5, and it'll be RimWorld again. Um, I've updated my schedule on Twitch, um, so it's all there, and then, um, Friday we're gonna do 7 days. Mike is going to join me for as long as he can, um, but if he has to leave, that's fine. And it that one will be from 4 to midnight. We're going to ring in the new year by killing zombies. Okay? <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Yeah. Thank you for enjoying the story with me in uh, Final Fantasy. Okay. Oh, we should probably find somebody to raid. There is a raid command now. One second. Sir is streaming. Okay, let's go raid Sir. There we go. <laughs> and it's just this. I don't have any emojis. So there you go. Uh, copy that message, and uh, we'll be good to go. Peace.